Clare, I'm an artist, and I'm here to talk to you today about my work in the exhibition, Boldly Subtle, with work by myself and Christine Raymond. The title of our show, Boldly Subtle, was chosen because both of our work has a lot of bold elements in terms of color, and then a lot of subtle things happening in terms of detail and gradients and transitions within the work. For my show, I wanted to go with a theme around the four natural elements, um, earth, wind, fire, and water. So let's take a look at some of the pieces. These are some of the pieces around the fire theme, and I like thinking about fire as a personal symbol for chaos and control because fires are something that we as humans try to make and control, but they're also sort of out of our control, which I think is um, interesting and comes through in some of the printmaking process where you have to have try to have a lot of control over your medium and elements and things that are happening in there, but then when you pull your print, uh, you don't have a lot of control over the final image. So some of these um, are really experiments and they happen very spontaneously. This is one of the earth pieces in the series and it's titled Ungrounded and you can see a lot of earth tone colors, um, blues and greens and browns, but it's not very specific about being any particular sort of scene. It just gives you the idea maybe of a marshland or a lake or something without being very specific. It's an abstracted vision of earth. This is my water piece for the show, and it's, I have a lot of fun thinking about this as a whole installation. I made this one when I was doing a lot of swimming, and it's actually the black lines in a pool, and the title of the piece is Pool Reverie, um, because the pool is sort of a meditative sort of thing, and you can see the cross on the top, so it's a little bit of a play on a religion and thinking about the pool as your church. These two pieces are part of the air-themed ones, and they were made when we had some of those beautiful sunsets that were caused by the smoke and fires, but they made for some beautiful colors. So I tried to use some of the colors in those and then added some abstracted lines for the horizon points. This one's titled Dusky Romance, and this one is Hazy Twilight. I want to talk to you a little bit about my medium and technique in making the pieces. The works in the show are all monotypes, which is a painterly printmaking process that I love to use. Normally with other printmaking processes like woodcuts or etchings, you create a matrix to print multiple images from, but monotypes only yield a single image, so there is only one original piece created in this process. I use non-toxic honey and soy-based Akua inks. I mix the inks on a glass surface and then apply the ink to a plexiglass plate and work into it using brayers, q-tips, and other tools. There's a lot of spontaneity in making monotypes, and I make a lot of decisions and changes as I work. There's always been something really appealing to me about making something from nothing. I generally don't have a preconceived idea about exactly what the image is going to look like, and I try to respond to the present moment as I work. It's a constant process of action and response to whatever is happening in the work in front of me. When I like how it looks on the plate, I put dampened paper on the plate and run it through the etching press. The ink is then transferred to the paper, and the image you pull off is the printed impression of the work from the plate. There's always a surprise when you pull the impression, and you always hope for a good surprise. Thanks for checking out my video and all my work in the show. It runs through the rest of the month of October at Capitol Contemporary Gallery. 